Greetings, everyone, and Merry Christmas. Welcome back to Arc Aberration on the Pooping Evolved server. I'm going to start out today with a much-requested item, how to farm a plant species Z turret. So, here we have a wild plant species Z, and for a while I wasn't sure how to get the seeds. Like, I know you can get them in drops, but there was supposed to be a natural way. Well, apparently... If you stand by it at night, or accidentally go AFK for a while, it will eventually draw back in the tentacle and spit out a seed. I'm not sure I can actually get it to do it on command right now, so I'm just gonna be happy that I paid enough attention to catch one of the seeds when they popped out. So then it's a uh, standard grow it, from, grow it normally then, and then you get this, an altered plant species Z. And... It drops the seeds, so everything is good to go there. So, um, small update since the last episode. I got kind of lost trying to find my way home from the last, uh, from the base location, and uh, kind of lost a Ravager along the way. And then I don't remember if I mentioned that I found a real. Yes, I do remember mentioning I got the really good Spino, and now I have bred a really, really really good spino in fact let us change your name so everyone knows to a mine boom okay so that is my new breeding spino 237 base level with the good melee and good health so yeah really really cool as for planting the plant species z i believe these will act as anti um nameless and such so Definitely going to want to bring some of these seeds with me. In fact, let me take those out now. But yeah, an anti-nameless an anti -nameless charge generating plant. Very, very, very welcome. All right, so we are going to go over to the new base today. I spent a long time yesterday gathering the materials to craft all that I need. I have so much metal still, a lot of cementing paste, I've used even more than you can probably guess, and now I have the basis for my box. And now that, um, I also hit level 80, and we have updated the server to now use auto engrams, so as soon as I level up, boom, all the engrams. And the real reason we did this, not for convenience, although, don't get me wrong, this is going to be super convenient next time I level up or want to use a uh, mind wipe tonic. What the real reason for it was is to unlock all the tech grims. So I do have access to the new tech stuff, although I do not intend to uh, build any of it. Plus, I don't have any element, so that's going to still take a while. Although it is really cool that I get the tech shield and sword now. So yeah, I have all the tech grims available. This is going to be nice. Uh, I'm going to have to farm those trilobites pretty hard for Black Pearls starting soon. But yeah, I'm going to finish crafting up some electric stuff, gather the pack, my new, um... Is it the new Ravager in here? Or... Oh, that's one of the randoms. And then I've picked up another breeder. I still can't get a high-level male, though. Actually, no, I think we need a high-level female. Yeah, okay. Female level one up. This one got a melee... Or a... Not a melee. A stamina mutation, so that was pretty cool. A pack mule, Arako. I guess that means the new one's already outside. All right, I'm gonna do some crafting and then we are off to the blue. All right, we've made it back to the uh, the area that I was thinking about building at. So I've had a bit of an issue with Arthropleura damaging my armor on the way here. In fact, my entire hazard suit just was finally destroyed. Oh, are those piranhas eating a shine horn? Those salmon are eating a shine horn. Okay, what about you? You are in my way. Bye bye. Yeah, so I need to clear the area out just a little bit, but we are here. I am alive, but being very cautious about walking near anything because of, you know, lack of my suit. Feels real bad. I, I was like really, really close, and then an Arthropleura just, poof, got rid of everything. You know, now thankfully I brought a fabricator with me, but it's still going to take a little bit of time to get everything 
uh, set up and recrafted. So I'm kind of trying to pick, like, the last part, basically, of where I'm going to stand, or where I'm going to set up, because I was thinking over here, but, you know, there's rather weird bulbous tree things in the way. If I go over here, well, I've got Ravagers to deal with, but... Okay, I sort of have Ravagers to deal with, but yeah, it's not exactly flat right here. Oh, you stupid, stupid giant centipede. <sighs> yeah, I've got a bit of a hatred for them now. Much similar to how I had a hatred for uh, Ravagers, actually, during the first few days. Those things ate a lot of my tames. They were very bugged, too. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go pick out a spot and start wiping out everything in the area, and... Ooh, over here looks pretty good. Flat, mostly. I've got S-plus stuff, so, I mean, doesn't matter too much. I'm pretty sure I can take this out. Yep. So, yeah, I can clear out this spot right here. Still working on finding my way out of here, but, you know, it's something it's it's it'll be home it'll be home soon enough oh i could probably use that hmm uh, i'll bring you guys back in a little bit all right i've chosen the location we are going to just use this mostly open space and then i'll start clearing out the side things as i need more resources for expansion and i need i know a drop spawns right over there so i need to have that up so i can build around it at one point oh this ravager's got a level up so, yeah, I'm going to kind of use that as a wall, and then I'm going to either create a jump point to go down to the death over there, or I'm going to... I'm not 100% sure yet. But my point is, right here is... Place. Foundation number one placed. All right, so I specifically brought enough stuff for a four or a six by six box. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Wait, did I go seven? One, three, five, six. Yeah, okay, that felt weird. All right, so one, two, three, four. And five. So I'm going to have a big yard over there. Three, four, five. And bring it all in. And No, no, no. I mean, it's S+, plus, so I can just pick it up. But, you know. If I don't have to, I don't want to. And I have to. Something 150 is in the area. That might be that um, Anki I saw last time I was here. Actually, that would be really cool if it was. Ravagers out of there in case any shenanigans occur. And it's above the vegetation, too, so that feels good. All right, I know there's no way up over there, so I'm assuming that putting the entrance over here would probably be the best. Right, uh, I think Bullseye has the doors. Has ceilings. Rogerina? Didn't put anything on you. Mummy has the walls. I'm just going to take everything you have, so... Yeah, we're going to pop up our house. Oop, oh, Rock Drake. I have for that. I brought auto turrets. Um, I'm going to need to make a second trip, but I think I'm going to do is just uh, build a bed, put it down, and then just teleport home and bring more stuff over because, like, I need more glowing creatures and other things, too. Gateway. I'll wait on the other stuff, actually. Ceilings are there. The walls, which I hope I calculated right. Because if I didn't, going to be in for a world of hurt. Slash awkward ceilings. Oh, right. Uh, you guys can stop following for a bit. We're almost safe. 
I don't think anything down here can cause us trouble. Got a really big bulb dog on me, so odds of it running out of light are low, and even if it does, I've pumped the regeneration on it significantly, so it'll come back super fast. All right, it's all going good so far. Got the generator to power it up. I've got some gas on me. Run the generator. Up then. Oh sweet, that drops back. Theoretically, I can just drop some uh, fence foundations around it. Oh, did I need to go four high? Crap. Well, I could always make more walls and bring them with me, but... Yeah, I need to go for it. I counted for going three high, so... That way I can still put the ceiling down. Actually, I may want to even... Alter the ceiling a little bit. Oh, I had extras. Oh, right, I only accounted for uh, removing two of the walls, not six of them. Okay, so, and I think Bullseye had the ceiling. I know this isn't exactly the most exciting stuff, but it's not something I can just turn into a, a building music video. It just occurred to me, it's going to be real awkward placing those upper walls, because I'm not going to be able to tell if they're snapping to the ceiling or to the wall below them. Also, Ravager's making this a little awkward. Two to go. All right, and we have, well, a roof over our head at least. I'm going to go grab the uh, blue drop real quick and hope for something cool finally. Well, I didn't bring any gems with me, so I guess that's something. But yeah, so now we are at least somewhat protected. Second close delay. All right, so I don't have as much space uh, in this one as I, as I do in the other one, but... I'm going to have a yard this time around, so I'm going to be placing, like, I think I'll just do spike walls over there, and I'll have auto turrets up and running soon. But before that, I'll grab the other stuff off Bullseye. I did not. So before that, though, I'm going to have to put down some crafting stuff. So, so let's get the generator down. Generator is down. Um, Smithy. Mercator. Uh, what else did I bring? Uh, S plus crafting station. And I'll put the fridge right here. All right, good, perfect. Um, oh crap, do I need to do the... Where's the wiring? 
Oh, did I forget the wiring? I brought pipe, but I brought... Or, okay, no, I did not forget the wiring. I don't think I meant to bring the walls, though. Can I do that one? I can do that one. Okay. So let's get this fired up so I can see what's getting power and what's not. Uh-oh. Well, let's hope that comes back fast. That's the rock, Drake. Okay. All right, so I've got power distributed. I was thinking about putting the box in the middle, but I exactly have a middle spot. Okay, power is not flowing from this spot to that one. Why is power not flowing and can I pick up This internal wiring, okay. Uh, da, da, da. That is piping. Right, I put down piping. Yeah, or, uh, yeah, I put down. Okay, so that doesn't have power. Inch. Oh, cool, glow bug. Come on. Okay, now it works. So something was bugged out on that one. But we have a refrigerator now, which is good. Gonna need it. Oh, why are you following Bullseye? Follow me or nobody. Let's increase that regen. Because, uh, please turn on quickly. Because, you know, the uh, nameless, I'm sure, are swarming at the walls. Very soon. All right, so I've got the basics now. Um, okay, there we go. Some charge to get rid of everything else. Uh, what else do I have? Piping, auto turrets which need the ammo, so I'm going to come back with that later. Um, all right, I need another 20 walls, I think. Something like that. Yeah, so I'll be back pretty soon. All right, made it back with a extra or my extra Ravager, and I have stuff. So I realized that I need to swap out at least one of the ceilings with a ladder because, uh, what do you call it? Because auto turrets need to be on the roof. Can't do that if I can't get on the roof. All right, uh, da -da -da, almost. Actually, let's go with that. Perfect, I think. That looks about right. Yep. Awesome. All right. So auto turrets should be in range if I switch them to electricity and put them right. The auto turrets are already we're already here. Uh, also need to put in the remaining walls because this looks awkward. Real careful while I'm doing this. Remember, everyone, know the dimensions of your building parts, or else you will have to do building in awkward two stages. And get bumped around by a crowd of Ravagers. Because these guys don't really have a sense of personal space, despite the fact that they're following Bullseye and not me. And I overcalculated again, but that's fine. Having extras doesn't hurt.
All right, I get to put all that back. Yeah, we don't really need that. All right, where are my turrets? Give me those. I didn't have a lot to work with as far as ammo goes, but it should still get the initial job done for a while. So... Oh, there's a drop over there. I'll have to go exploring for that in a bit. But let's do one here. Settings. Turret options. Whoa! Okay. Hi. No warning. Wild only. Accept. Go to town. Well, that was a max level Erthropalura. Okay, then. Did not expect that to happen. Uh, let's get the other two down. Oops. I no warning. Wild only. I'm sorry, up? That is not the direction you want to see those things pointing. Can't help but wonder what's about to fall on me. Wild only. Okay, I guess I could start excluding stuff. So don't exclude those. Oh, apparently Megalania are in here somewhere. Do that, don't do that, don't do that. The Reaper Queen, definitely want to kill those. Rebel Rats. So yeah, don't bother shooting those. I guess, yeah, not killing the, the uh, nice things is probably a good idea. Yeah, definitely seems like a good idea not to kill those. Um, yeah, I think there's actually a tool that lets me copy over the information, so that'll be nice, because you guys are already kind of burning through turrets. Oh, come on. Oh, right. Uh, Barret... Aberrant Akatina. This is not in any particular order, it seems. That, don't shoot that. Those, don't shoot those. Yeah, there we go. Don't shoot those. Don't shoot the Yankees. Don't shoot the Dung Beetles. Don't shoot the fish. Don't shoot the otters. Oh god, there's spiders. Oh god, there's some dimorphodons. Okay. Well, at least I have something to go on for now. Um, I think I'm gonna need a thatch for the other setting. No, for the setting gun. Lania's S plus turret thing. Transfer light setting. Oh, whoops. Well. There it is. Turret configurator. So I'm betting if it works anything like the others, it's a case of... Right click. Paste. Paste. Alright, so for now, my turrets are going to not murder the nice things, which is good, because... You know, limited bullets. Ooh, poor Alexis. All right, I think the drop over there despawned, so I can't go look for it. But now I need to just take some time to get uh, set up and get comfortable and maybe cook up some of the locals. I know, that sounds morbid, but hey, you know what? It is what it is.
All right, everybody, I am settled in a little bit. I've been drop hunting at the region and exploring, and I've got almost everything I need to get going. I just kind of regret not bringing a gas collector with me. But besides that, I have everything I need. I'll have my hazard suit repaired soon enough, and we can begin taming some of the more interesting creatures down here. I've discovered some uh, interesting fellows out in the water, so... I might be building a dock area soon enough, but yeah, that does it for today. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have enjoyed the episode, and I want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas, a Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy New Year, all the holidays. I don't just want to say Happy Holidays, you know? So everyone have a good end of the year, and, you know, spend some time with your family, Cherish those loved ones, make some good memories, and I will see you guys next time. Farewell.